Last night I got home, turned on my TV and watched this latest news on Russia and Ukraine and Crimea. And the first thing I hear is from Secretary of State John Kerry saying, Ukraine people only want their freedom. Secretary of State, what about Palestinian people? Don't they want their freedom too? Whenever Israel invades one of its neighbors or kills innocent civilians, the United States is prompt to veto in the United Nations resolution that criticizes Israel. When you look at the enormous amount of U.S. weapons that we provide Israel each and every year and see the kind of results that it's, it's achieving, you got to ask yourself, what good is it? We're giving so much weapons that she keeps invading her neighbors. It's our Arms Export Control Act. It says that Israel can only use these weapons for defensive purposes or for internal security. When you drop a one-ton bomb on, on an apartment complex in the center of, comp of Gaza City and kill 19 Palestinians with that one bomb, you call that defensive? You call that for their internal security? How many Israelis were killed during that Gaza war? 13. And out of those 13, four of those soldiers were killed by friendly fire. So we're looking at 1,400 Palestinians killed and nine, Palis and nine Israelis. That's like 150 to one. We've got confiscation of land. We've got the demolition of homes. This is something I can, I can never understand. Since 1967, the Israelis have demolished over 27,000 Palestinian homes and structures. The United States doesn't even have the courage to condemn Israel for this. Is there any wonder that this violence continues? And I'm so glad to see a group of us like this to begin some type of a effort, some type of an organization to fight the other side and get the truth out.